Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. In this video, one of the things we're going to do is we are going to embroider backpacks. Kids are getting ready to go back to school, so now I am getting a whole bunch of orders to um, embroider the names on backpacks, okay? So I wanted to show you how I do this. Now, not only am I going to embroider the names on the backpack, but inside each of the backpacks is also the lunch bag as well. So I'm going to embroider the name on the lunch bag also. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I do this. Now, one of the things that I do is I use in Brilliance Essentials. And what I do is I actually create the font and I like to print out the template. The reason why I like to do that is because I like to take tape and I like to place it on the garment where it's going to be. So that way I can make sure that the machine is aligned and that it's going to uh, embroider right where I want it to be, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to embroider two sets. I have each of these sets come with the uh, lunch bag and these book bags, for you guys that are wondering, um, these were provided to me by the customer and each of them have the book bag and they come with the lunch bag, okay? So I'm gonna be using my fast frames and I'm gonna be putting this on my brother um, SC670E, uh, which is a six needle machine. I only need one needle um, and that's what I'm gonna be doing because um, I, I don't need all, a whole bunch of needles and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do this on the six needle machine. So let's start with Lucas's bag, okay? Um, Let's start with that. So as I was saying before, what I'm going to be doing is using my fast frames. The fast frame that I have is under here. And if I look correct, if I am correct, this fast frame is about five by five, okay? Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to make sure that, and I want to make sure that you see everything I'm doing, and you do. Um, one of the things you want to make sure is that the template that you're printing out actually fits in the frame. And as you can see, no problem. This is going to work great, all right? So I'm going to set this aside for now. And one of the things that I want to do is first I want to prep my fast frame, okay? And I'm going to do the lunch bag too, but I'll do this later. Now, what am I going to use, okay? Um, this is the fast frame bracket, and this is the actual frame, okay, the hoop that I'm going to be using. Um, like I said, this is a 5x5. Five five. This is sticky stabilizer that I cut. And to make sure that the item doesn't move while I'm embroidering, I'm going to be using double-sided tape, okay? This is really, really good to do, um, to use when, you're, when you have bulky items, all right? So... Let me see, what, the first thing I'm gonna do, okay, let me put the stick of stabilizer first. And you know what, I think I cut it a little too big. Let me cut it out a little bit. I don't know where the scissors are, right, there it is. I'm just gonna cut it down to size a little bit more. There you go. Okay. And let me, sometimes it can get kind of funny to get this stuff off. Got sticky stabilizer here. All right. This is the top. The bottom, This is the top of it. I always put label on the top for my fast frames. That way I always remember where the top is. Sometimes it can be, can get a little confusing. Okay. Once I have that in there, I kind of just tape it on like this, okay? Now I have double-sided tape, and I love this stuff because it, it does a really good job of holding stuff right in place. And what I usually do is I just put it right here on the edge of my hoop, okay? Here's my... Other side. And you can put some on the top, on the bottom here, I mean, if you want to. But I think this is going to be enough. Now, usually when it comes to this part, 
I need to get a weeding tool because I don't have any nails. Now, what I do is it's just to take off the top part of the tape, the paper. There you go. All right. And then I'm going to take this top off too. There you go. All right, let me give you a close-up so that way you guys can see how the hoop actually looks, okay, with the double-sided tape and everything, okay? Now, I don't know if you see it, but right here, this is the double-sided tape right here, okay? And then here's your sticky stabilizer. So this is how I actually hoof it, okay? All right, now what if you could do... Well, I'll leave it like that. Okay, all right, so let's throw this out because I am a neat crafter. I don't like to have stuff all over the place and stuff. Okay, now, let's move this over. I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna set this aside for now. Let's talk about this. Now, I use sharp needles for this, okay? You wanna open the flap as much as you possibly can. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to align the template right where you want it to be. And this is perfect where I have it. So what I usually do to make sure that it's exactly where I want it is I like to use some scotch tape. And scotch tape is really good because that way you can just peel it off easy. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a little more because I don't want this to move. I really want this to stay where I, where I want it to be. So when I embroider it, it can just do it, okay? There you go. Looks good. There you go. There, okay. So this is exactly where I want it to be, and it's going to be in navy blue thread. So I want it to say Lucas right here. This opens, and I just want to make sure that this is going to be, like, right here, right on it, right smack, and it's going to in water it nicely okay but before I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here secure this and then let's go over to the embroidery machine and I'm going to show you exactly how I hoop this okay so let's twirl you around you're going to twirl around the room and I have the six needle machine right here I want to make sure that the lighting is okay, and I think it is. Okay, so I'm going to move you up a little bit. And let me just adjust the camera a bit. So that way you guys can see exactly what I am doing. So I'm going to make sure you guys can see. All right, so this is not the thing. Okay, I got the machine all set up, and I am going to slide in my fast frame. All right, so as soon as I get in, I don't know if you see it because of the camera, but there is a little laser that's going on there. And what it does is it kind of shows me exactly where the middle of the embroidery file is right now. So I know that it's kind of like on the bottom end of the frame, and I need it to be a little higher. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to move this up. And I'm really focusing on the laser, okay, because the laser is what's going to tell me exactly where it's going to in water. I'm also going to do a trace because I want to make sure that when this in borders, it doesn't touch the size of the, um, of the frame, okay? Now it looks really good. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to place this book bag in the frame. Another thing that I am going to do is I'm going to take some clips with me, okay? And let me come over here and show you. These are just office clips and stuff. Some people use clamps. That's another good thing to do, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently put the book bag in here, and I'm going to align the laser right where I want it to be and that's perfect okay good now I did notice that the 
that it was just a little bit too close to the side of the frame. So what I do want to do is I want to shrink it down just a little bit. There you go. Okay. Hit okay. And I want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to push this up hit and edit. Okay. I'm at the, the end here. And I think I need to move this up a little bit like this. You just want to make sure that this is well secure. Now, I am going to use these clips because I don't want this to move at all while it's embroidering. And I think I should have had, I, sh I wish I had clamps. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to really hold on to it. So I'm going to have to babysit this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it's secured with the stabilizer. Now, if I had clamps, it would be a lot better, but I don't, so that's okay. I just gotta, I just gotta watch it, babysit it, and probably, you know, just make sure that it doesn't shift or anything. So I'm just going to make sure that it's straight, and it is. Yep, it's good. This is perfect. Fine. Okay. Now I'm going to do a trace. Yep. It's going to embroider just fine. Yep. This is going to be just fine. So now what I'm going to do is because I, I like the way it's aligned and everything, I'm going to remove this from here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit embroider. I already have the thread that I need in there and stuff. So I'm just going to hit embroidery and it's going to go ahead and it's going to embroider the name on the bag. So here we go. Okay, all done. All right. Now, as you can see, I didn't even need to use any clamps. So let's take this off the machine. Let's go over to the cutting table and let's see the, what the final product looks like. Okay. This looks pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So let me position the camera to make sure that you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. All right. So all done. So all I have to do is just peel this off, peels off nicely, there you go, all done, all done. So book bag is finished.
cool. Look at this. This is a Pottery Barn book bag. And look at the finished product. Cute, right? Really, really cute. Okay. Now we got to do lunchbox. Okay. So this is done. I'm going to put this aside. And let's focus on the lunchbox. So lunchbox, I think it might be a little tricky, but let's see. Okay. Take all this off. All right, put it in the garbage. And you do the same exact method as before, okay? I'm going to take sticky stabilizer. This time I'm not going to even take this out. I'm just turning this over. This was big piece. So I'm just going to cut some of this off. I don't throw these out also so you guys know. I keep them. Because you never know if I have something small to enjoy. As you can see, I got to be hard at work because supervisor just showed up. Okay, so he's bothering Carlito now. All right, let me set you guys back up. There you are. And let me take this off. Put this on here. Turn it over. Okay, make sure it's nice and sticky. This is already kind of sticky too because of the double-sided tape. And I'm going to put more double-sided tape. <laughs> Because I like it to make sure that it's nice and secure. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I embroidered that book bag, it did not shift at all. So this is really a good um, add-on, the double-sided tape. I really, really like it. Because I, I feel like it, it gives it that extra support. Okay. So I love using it. So let me put this on here. Okay. And this one here. Okay. Now, before I put this in, now if you notice, this is kind of like doesn't have much of it opening. So I'm going to have to make sure that it traces and everything on the machine. All right. So once again, I have my template and I, I know that I made the, the name a little bit smaller and that's okay. Um, I'm just going to put it right smack in the middle. And I'm just really eyeballing it. If you're per, per, Perfectionist, and you may want to measure, but I'm just eyeballing it. I mean, it looks fine. Right in the middle, right? And then I just need to make sure that when this is inside of here, that I can maneuver it inside. So let's go over to the machine. Let's play around with it. And I'm going to, let me lift you up a little bit because that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay. So, um, I did not take out, I don't know if you noticed, but this still has the tape on from the top. So this is not sticky yet. Because um, all I want to do is I just want to mess around with the lunch bag in here because what's important to me is that I get to move around in there, you know, to embroider the name. So I want to see how far I can go. And let's see, is there anything in here? Okay, it's got this thing in here. All right. All right. Let's see. There you go. It might be a little bit better this way. Let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. And I think it'll be fine. I think it will be fine. I just need to put it in and put it right smack in the middle. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna embroider anything yet. My whole goal right now is just to see how it's going to move. Yep, not a problem. It's not gonna be a problem because when I have the double sided tape, it's going to really lock down really nicely. Okay, so let me take this out here. Okay. 
Where's that weeding tool? I want to take out that paper because that paper, I really like that double-sided tape because the double-sided tape really does add more stability to the bag. The thing with um, embroidering bags is because they're bulky items, the trick is to make sure that it's on the hoop securely and that it doesn't shift. That's really the whole thing to it. All right, so I got those double side tape. Now, it might be a little tricky to put this in here without it sticking, but let's give it a shot. I just need to make sure I don't lay it down too much. And I got it, first try, not bad. I got it, perfect, awesome. Okay, and I'm going to secure it on the ends, okay, because I have that double tape right here. And then now I'm going to like press down because I want to make sure that, you know, it has the sticky stabilizer and everything. Now I'm going to make sure this is aligned. And it is. It's perfect. Okay, let me put it right smack in the middle. There you go. I'm going to trace it one more time. Yep, it's going to be fine. Yep. Not a problem. Okay, so once again, okay, this is going to be cool. I'm just going to take this off. This is nice and secure in there. Now, if I had clamps, I would clamp on it, but it's not really necessary because I have that double-sided tape, so it kind of helps a little bit, okay, and stuff. And then Mello is, like, right below me. He's He's investigating. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit that, that start button. And I'm going to do the lunchbox. Okay. Okay, that was just a three minute stitch for the book bag and for the lunch bag. So let's take this out and let's go over to the cutting table and let's take a look at it and let's see what it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna twirl you guys around. I know you guys probably get dizzy when I do this stuff. Okay, so um, this was the inside of the, the book bag. I'll put that back in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna remove this. And it is a little tough to get out because it embroidered in a very tight space. So, but it's coming out. All right, let's get this out. There we go. Just 
try and take this out here. And it's a little sticky right here. There we go. There you go. Got it out. Everything's fine. Everything's intact. Okay. I always take this off. And as you can see, your, your hoops get quite dirty with all the buildup of all the stabilizer and everything like that. So after I do a bunch of these, I do have to clean my hoops and stuff. Um, we get a little thing. So guys, just want to show you. See, doable. And I can just put this right back in because this is their lunchbox thing. Um, see? They can still use their little zipper in here and stuff. They have their little lunch bag and it has their name on it. Pretty neat, came out cute. Really, really cute, okay? So you got your lunch bag and your matching book bag, see? And this, the same thing that I did to make these, that's exactly what I am going to do this. So I am going to continue filming and stuff. I will be hooping this, and I will show you guys the end of how this is going to look, okay?
just wanted to uh, show you guys the um, the outcome of Liliana's bag. I got her backpack and her um, her lunch bag done. So came out really, really nice. Okay. Had a little bit of trouble, but I was able to salvage it. These bags are pretty expensive. They're not cheap at all. They're from Pottery, pottery Barn Kids and stuff. And then I have Lucas's bag right over here. So, guys, I hope you like this video. I was trying to, uh, you know, show you guys how to do these. These are really, really cool. They are, you know, kids are back to school. I believe Pottery Barn Kids will embroider the bags, too. But I don't know how much they charge the customers to do it. But, um, you know, cute bags. Cute, cute bags. And I'm sure they probably have only a certain amount of fonts that they have. And if you're an embroiderer, you can do all kinds of fonts and everything. So this is pretty cute. So hope you guys like this video, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.